In this video, we're going to talk about the functions of macrophages. So let's start with one of its major functions, which is phagocytosis. A macrophage does not only phagocytose uh, bacteria, it can phagocytose many other substances. But let's start with bacteria. These red dots represent the bacteria, and uh, the blue one is the macrophage usually with help of some opsonizing agents which will uh, mark the bacteria the macrophages will engulf them and uh, once they are engulfed we call them phagosomes in the macrophages you also have different lysosomes which will combine with this phagosome forming a complex called phagolysosome the lysosomes contains a lot of different proteolytic enzymes and different acidic enzymes that would digest and destroy the content of the bacteria making it harmless and then the content will be exocytosed meaning that it will be released from the cell as you see in the illustration of number four and then C. In this picture you see picture of two lungs. One is normal lung and one is pathological. So you can assume that the right one is the normal lung this is a non-smoking lung this one has a good color and uh, the heart seems to be in normal size but if you're a smoker or if you're working in uh, coal mines then you're inhaling different toxic agents just consider that cigarettes contain 40 to 60 different carcinogenic substances meaning that the uh, substances that cause cancer and uh, thousands of different other chemicals amongst others tar once you inhale these different chemicals your alveolar macrophages will engulf them and digest them but they cannot release them completely so this will cause a discoloration of your macrophages and eventually discoloration of your lungs so you see in to the left lungs are quite black this can also occur if you have been working for a long time in a coal mine then you will go get a condition called coal workers uh, lung or also known as coal workers pneumoconiosis another major thing you see in this picture is the size of the heart you see that the heart is much bigger compared to the right one this is due to that if there is a problem in the lung the heart needs to pump harder and if it needs to pump harder it needs to grow in size and therefore this can eventually lead to different other problems such as future heart attacks or heart failures and many other diseases so don't smoke another place where you can see macrophages is in people that have tattoos have you have probably seen that many people that have gotten tattoos after a, a couple of months or even years the tattoo starts to fade out and this is due to that macrophages digest the pigments of the tattoo material and uh, this will cause the tattoo to become faded out. Another major function of macrophages is angiogenesis and fibrosis. These will be connected together, so we'll talk about them all together. So fibrosis is essentially a healing process that is not commonly complete. This usually leads to scar formation. And uh, for this to happen, the macrophages play their role by releasing different cytokines uh, which are your chemical messengers that will enhance uh, your fibroblasts to secrete more proteins and form a groundwork called granulation tissue and since you form a new groundwork you will need a lot of nutrients for the cells to work because they were work in excess now and therefore the macrophages will also now enhance angiogenesis for which means formation of new vessels by secreting other chemical messengers for angiogenesis they will secrete the chemical messengers such as vascular endothelial growth factor or platelet derived growth factor for fibrosis they will stimulate fibroblasts to be active and secrete more extracellular matrix proteins such as collagen or elastin and many more but the important one the most important one is collagen this will be enhanced by chemical messengers such as fibroblast growth factor platelet derived growth factor vascular endothelial growth factor so these have several functions 
but the most important one will be a chemical messenger called transforming growth factor beta. These will stimulate the granulation tissue formation and eventually scar formation. In this picture, you see the final processes of this scar formation. This is a histological picture of the liver. These pink parts represent your normal hepatocytes, your liver cells. And these separating bands will represent the different excessive use of collagens. This is the later stages of liver cirrhosis, which can eventually lead to many other problems. And you can assume what the most common cause of this can be. It's usually alcohol. Another big function of uh, macrophages is its action as an antigen presenting cell, abbreviated APC. This can be seen, for instance, if you inhale some substances, the alveolar macrophages will engulf them and digest them, and then they will go and express a molecule called major histocompatibility complex type 2, or also known as human leukocyte antigen type 2. These will present it to your different T helper cells, which will help them to differentiate either to, either to type 1 or to type 2. And uh, these will be seen in the videos about type 1 and type 4 hypersensitivities. The final two functions of uh, macrophages include removal of cellular necrotic debris. This essentially means that these work as cleaners. They clean out after an injury or the, these engulf cells have committed suicide. These are essentially the removals of different types of debris, which is essentially unuseful material. Your macrophages can even become harmful to you. These can cause a, a tissue destruction. Some toxins can overstimulate them, so the macrophages will now release a lot of its harmful proteolytic enzymes or, and proteins that uh, can be harmful uh, for normal, healthy human tissue. In the next video, you will see the different types of macrophages.